Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for coming out to this presentation. Uh, today, uh, we're going to be speaking about Career Eco, just a quick crash course, and just going over some best practices on what you guys should be doing for the career fair that's coming up. Before we get into it, I'm just going to introduce myself, and then I'll hand it off to my counterpart. My name is Mahip Devra. I am a junior in computer engineering, and um, I'm been part of Expo for two semesters now. So David, if you want to introduce yourself. Yeah, thanks. Uh, hey guys, I'm David Hodges. Uh, I'm a sophomore in material science and engineering, and this is my first semester in engineering Expo. All right, cool, let's get started. And so um, before we get started, we just want to put a quick disclaimer. This presentation isn't really about your resume or um, just best practices for um, career fairs in general. This presentation is very targeted towards career eco and virtual career fairs. So if you have any questions regarding your resume, if you're an international student, or if you have any other questions regarding um, career or anything, I direct you to um, ECS's website. And this slide deck will be available. So we have resources in the appendix so you can just look at it later. So um, getting into it. So this is our second go at Career Eco. We learned a lot from last semester and there's some new features. The two biggest one is first, we have a queue. And the second thing is multiple rooms. So for the biggest, I think from my eyes, one of the biggest things was when you joined the room, you really didn't know where in line you were or what if there was any line at all to talk to a recruiter. Well, there's now a queue and you can be at two queues at the same time for two different companies. And the really cool thing is the queue tells you what position you are, but it doesn't tell you how many people are in the queue. So for example, it might just say you're the third person in the queue, but it doesn't tell me, or it might just say you're the 10th person um, in the queue. And the second thing is last semester, you were restricted to um, two to three chat rooms or different rooms at a time. But this semester, you can be in multiple rooms at the same time, but you're only limited to two queues at the same time. So we're just going to do a quick demo on, you know, how to update your resume because that's something we're going to um, highly encourage students to do. Is you know, from last semester to now, you might have new things to update to your resume. So you upload that to Career Eco and making sure like how do you find the U of I Career Fair. So um, here I'm on Career Eco, and um, once you log in, once you set a profile, if you click to upcoming events, um, or if you type in the search, you're able to find a Ranger College of Engineering virtual career fair. So it's a very easy sign up. Um, you just have to put in some information, whether you'd like your resume shared or not. And then um, I haven't signed up for it, but it's just asking basic information. And this is really gonna help you um, if you sign up early, get noticed by recruiters because recruiters are looking for students who are attending the U of I career fair. So making sure you sign up beforehand is going to be really helpful to you and making sure there's no last minute hiccups the day before the career fair. And the other thing we're going to um, ask a lot of um, or what we recommend is to update your profile. So up here on the top right, the one called update profile. And here you can just you'll probably have your resume from last semester and you're able to just make sure you put a updated resume for this upcoming career if you want to put a cover letter reference letter and any other documents you want to have and this is it's really going to help you best prepare for the career fair and once again avoid any last minute hiccups or panics right before the career fair starts so i highly encourage everyone to do this as soon as possible just to make sure that um, the day of career fair, you don't have to worry about these minor details. So what is our timeline for the career fair? So as I said before, make sure you sign up and register for the career fair right now. As soon as this presentation ends, if you haven't, I'd highly recommend you do it and not push it off. The career fair is going to be on February 17th. And unlike last semester, we're only going to be having one day where it's dedicated to both internship and full-time employment opportunity. So make sure you save that date, make sure um, you're getting all prepared for that date. And similarly, last semester, we're having two modes of ways you can chat with the recruiters. 
like last semester, you're going to have that main chatting room where every student individual recruiters as well. But um, as some of you may know, some companies have decided that, okay, we might just send out a video chat link so you can talk to them virtually face to face. Make sure you're prepared for that, you know, wearing business professional as you would for any other career fair. So I'm going to hand it off to David now to just talk about tips and tricks and some best practices that we've learned from last semester. Yeah, thank you. You can go next. Yeah, so one of the most common things is uh, people are wondering how they're going to stand out. And the thing with this virtual career fair is a lot of things are, um, you know, very similar um, in how you prepare for uh, in person career fair. One of the major things is that you want to research the companies, uh, the recruiters that are attending and like the specific positions that you are interested in. Similar to a, a, a in person career fair, you want to make sure that you're professionally dressed and that you're ready to put your best foot forward. Um, and also kind of like we just talked about, you want to make sure you have all the logistics uh, set up. So you want to be able to check, uh, set up your career eco profile ahead of time. Make sure you have your resume already and attached to your profile. Uh, but in the chat box uh, during, the, during, during the actual fair, you want to make sure that you're using professional language. Um, all of that stuff is with real people. Uh, these are actual recruiters that you're talking to. So you want to make sure that you're um, Putting, putting yourself in the best place possible. Uh, and also important thing is to request contact information for companies uh, or those recruiters that you were talking to uh, so you can, that you can follow up after the career fair. Uh, one, of the, one of the major things is that you want to always have questions to ask. Um, and as cheesy as it sounds, um, being yourself really goes a long way. Yeah, so uh, here's a few tips to use Career Eco to your advantage, because um, after all, it's it's really something that is for us. Um, you want to utilize the video chat feature. Um, you, if a recruiter offers to chat with you on video, um, you really want to take them up on that opportunity uh, to form a more form a more personal connection uh, with the recruiters and ask any more specific or personal questions that you might have. And uh, that's new this year. You can join as many queues as possible. Uh, so so um, do as many as you can just to be save as much time as possible. Because some companies you know, can have a lot of people in queue, whereas some others might just have a few. Um, always have pr productive questions about the company and the roles that they offer. And it's really important to do some background research on the company while you wait. Because um, you might have some time in between. So. Um, you're, you're, you have a, it's a great opportunity to uh, look up the company and be better prepared for the conversation when the time comes. And then we have some uh, FAQs. So here are just a few questions that um, some of you are probably wondering about. So is there a way to see the waiting times for the different companies? Um, you are actually not able to see the exact waiting times because those are entirely dependent on the recruiter's schedule. Um, but you are able to join those multiple rooms at once and see your exact place in the queue. Um, and then that leads me to, can you join multiple chat rooms? And yes, it, there's no limit this year. Um, so you're, uh, you're able to uh, join unlimited chat rooms. Um, and an important thing is to kind of save your full pitch for the private chat with the recruiter. So it's not just the onslaught of people's uh, elevator pitches in the main chat. Try to leave that more for just general Q&A, like logistic type stuff. And you're all probably wondering where and how you apply and where those kind of links and those applications. Uh, it really depends on the company, but um, you're able on Career Eco to click on the specific company that's a uh, company that's attending and they may have the option to see uh, certain job postings. And oftentimes, uh, in my own experience, um, the recruiters oftentimes add links in the main chat of kind of their ne the next steps or a, either a link to their website or the specific application uh, for Illinois students.
yeah, so these two photos are just quickly highlighting. Um, if you haven't seen career collect from last semester, just how is actual chat um, feature going to look like? So on the left, we have how the rooms are going to be like with the companies. So for example, we have OCN, um, if they have topics, so as we can do with Stripe, you're going to be talking to their Stripe engineers, and then you can see what time the recruiters are going to be available. And this is all going to be available before the career fair. So it's really important for um, those of you attending to know when your company you want to go talk to is going to be available. And that way you can plan your schedule, know when you need to talk to someone and vice versa. And on the right is exactly how the chat feature is going to look like. Right on the top, you have the recruiters or any representative of the companies. And then you're going to have all the participants of the chat. And then in the middle, you're going to be having your general chat as long as, as with your chatting feature with the um, recruiter or any other private chats.